opening June the 10th at Universal Florida. The Velocicoaster has a height of 155 feet. and has a top speed of 70 miles per hour. Are you ready for the new Velocicoaster coming to Universal's Islands of Adventure Florida? If so, drop a comment below and let us know. There are four inversions. The number of trains is 5, each carrying 24 passengers. There are two magnetic launches. Will you dare to ride? The new Jurassic World Velocicoaster, opening at Universal's Islands of Adventure in Orlando, Florida. It is an LSM multi-launch coaster manufactured by Intermin. It is located in the Jurassic Park section of the park. This is the park's first themed coaster in the Jurassic World franchise. The story is that the Velociraptors have escaped their compound and you have to chase and capture them. During the ride there will be pyro, animatronics, Velociraptor statues, and two show scenes. The ride is a staggering 155 feet tall at the top hat. At 70 miles per hour it is Universal Orlando's resort's fastest coaster. Universal have opted for Interman's lap bar, in place of the more traditional over-the-shoulder restraint. There is an on-board audio package in the seats, and the trains are fitted with headlights along the seats and at the front. Also, there is a full LED lighting package. The train encounters the first show scene in the first launch zone. You are then launched up to the first dive loop. The train will then turn into a right-hand bend, and up a small hill giving a short amount of air time, then diving down to an S-bend. Before getting to the second launch, it goes through an inner bank, and then up to a outer bank, and arrives at the second launch zone. Once we get through the second launch, we are then propelled into the 155-foot top hat. Then it's down to the zero-G stall. Then exiting into a wave turn, and exiting into an airtime hill, which is outer banked and, then into another outer bank turn, then another short airtime hill. We are now entering into the very fast heart line roll. Then we go up another airtime hill, then, into the final brake run. Before returning to the station the train goes through the second show scene. If you like this video, check out our other ones below, and don't forget to subscribe, and click that notification bell.